entering recalibration mode. With the washer shut off and the basket empty, no water or clothes inside, and with the lid shut, enter the recalibration cycle. Here's how, turn the control dial 1 complete rotation, 360 degrees, counterclockwise. Stopping with it facing straight up. Quickly, within about 6 seconds, turn the control dial 3 clicks clockwise, 1 click back, and 1 click more clockwise. All the green status lights blink when you successfully activate the diagnostic mode. If the status lights don't blink, try again, this time turning the knob faster or slower. In the diagnostic mode, with all lights flashing, select the calibration cycle by turning the control dial 4 clicks clockwise or, 4 clicks right. When you're on correct setting the rinse light turns on, then you simply press start. And then it begins the calibration cycle, which runs for 2 to 3 minutes as it checks all the cycles and functions on your machine. When the calibration cycle ends, if all goes well, the lid unlocks and the washer shuts off. Now try your washer to see if that solved your issues if not, continue to the error code video. If after 20 tries or more, and your arm feels like it's gonna fall off from trying so much, then odds are you have a bad control board. If your washer starts the recalibration but doesn't finish it, you need to pull the error codes and find out why. More. No water or clothes inside, and with the lid shut, enter the recalibration cycle. Here's how, turn the control dial 1 complete rotation, 360 degrees, counterclockwise. Stopping with it facing straight up. Quickly, within about 6 seconds, turn the control dial 3 clicks clockwise, 1 click back, and 1 click more clockwise. All the green status lights blink when you successfully activate the diagnostic mode. If the status lights don't blink, try again, this time turning the knob faster or slower. Now, we need to retrieve the codes, follow these steps to display the error code lights. Step 2, turn the control dial 1 click clockwise then, press the start button. Now you are reading the error codes. From here turn the control dial 1 click clockwise to display the first saved error code. Just the sensing light flashes if no error code was recorded. If this is happening to you but there is still an issue then you will need to watch our other video. The control displays up to 4 error codes. Step 3, read the error codes. Error codes for the VMW washers have two parts. The first is the letter F, followed by a number, and the second is the letter E, followed by a number as well. Which lights are illuminated indicate the numbers. The sensing light on indicates, the letter F. The sensing light off, indicates E. The wash light equals 8. Rinse, equals 4. Spin, equals 2. And cycle complete, 1. For example, for error code F5E3, when the sensing light is on, the rinse and the cycle complete lights are on. Adding all three together equals 5. This means the first part of the code is, F5. Then, on the other flash of lights, the sensing light is off, but the spin and the cycle complete lights are on. Adding them together makes 3. The second part of the code would be E3. That's one code. The same error code flashes repeatedly, until you turn the dial one click clockwise, to show the next error code. Turn the dial again and see if you have any other codes, if there is no more codes then you're done. To exit diagnostic mode, turn the washer off. Now, you have your error code, use these images in this video, to look up your error codes, look in your washer repair manual, or, just Google top load washer error code and enter the code, and it should come up no problem. Now you know the problem and what's causing your washer to not work. Now it's time to find the parts needed fast and cheap. Watch our next video for the quick tutorial on how to do this.